Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Angie and today I'm doing a video about spiritual gifts that have been given to us by the Spirit of God. Heads up my beautiful family and our Lord, we do not use the gifts given to us. Now, most of you know already who have been following my YouTube channel, the Lord asks me to do a video every day. In obedience to Him, I'm doing this. And I wait on Him to know what to share. I wait on Holy Spirit. What do you want to do today, Holy Spirit? And I heard Him. Spiritual gifts. He wants acknowledgement. <laughs> He is the one that moves us in the spiritual gifts given by Him. By Him. There are different gifts. Each one of us have been given gifts. Spiritual gifts. And we cannot use them ourselves. How can flesh use a spiritual gift from the Spirit of God? Can't. <laughs> And the trouble with that, trying to use a spiritual gift in our flesh, in our strength, is that the enemy will try to come in on that, okay? Because he can use our flesh for his purposes. He needs our flesh to, to do their function, to, to manifest what they want done <laughs> in our lives. Satan's will being done to manifest their functions now if we try doing a spiritual gift in our flesh in our strength they will try to oblige us false invitation false prophecy false teaching false fire false 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 christ kudalini i don't like that demon tries to pretend to be holy spirit They'll give us a counterfeit. And they're quite happy for us to move in our flesh. They need our flesh so they can move. We don't want them moving in our flesh. We don't want them giving a mixture when we're ministering to others or to our families. We don't want it the pure river, the pure outflowing of Holy Spirit who flows forth. We only want him, the Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of God, the Spirit of Yeshua being released. So the spiritual gifts cannot, we cannot use them. And we shouldn't try to. Satan will give a counterfeit. My husband and I have done deliverance with many people around the world. And many times we've had to cast out false impartation, false fire, false tongues, demonic tongues. False, false, false. That's the enemy wanting to put mixture. We don't want mixture. We want the pure river. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me read to you from my Bible. And if you've got your Bible there, I'm reading 1 Corinthians chapter 12, starting at verse 4. Let's listen to what the, our Bible says about spiritual gifts. There are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit, capital S, Holy Spirit. There are differences of ministries, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of activities, but it is the same God who works all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. For one is given the word of wisdom, that's a gift, through the Spirit. Through what? The Spirit. To another, the word of knowledge, through the same Spirit, capital S. To another, faith, by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healings, by the same Spirit, Holy Spirit. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, discerning of spirits. 
to another. Different kinds of tongues to another, the interpretation of tongues. But one of the same Spirit, Holy Spirit, works all these things, distributing to each one individually as he, we has, as he wills. And I'll stop there. Holy Spirit gives us these giftings. He is the one that moves us in those giftings it's not something we can do it's what he does all we need to do is step forward in faith yielding the giftings that have been given to us to holy spirit so by his unction by his moving as we step forward in faith he moves the giftings through us hallelujah <laughs> it's just it's that simple Really, truly it is. It's not something you have to try and do or try to use them. No. Holy Spirit moves through us the giftings and releases it. And that's the pure. That'd be pure. It'd be him being released. At our home church, Father's home church, but there was a, a, a lady whom Father highlighted to give a word for each person who attended that night. And there were 16 people. She's never done that before. And normally she likes to stay quiet. She doesn't want to speak up. But she yielded to Holy Spirit. She had learnt. And he moved her in the gift of uh, words of knowledge and prophecy. She gave a word to every person from the, from the heart of the Father. Absolutely beautiful. And as she did that, the power of God was released. As Holy Spirit was given the freedom to move, she yielded to him. He moved in and through her. Hallelujah! She was really surprised it happened. But the giftings were there. You have giftings. You have giftings. Holy Spirit needs you to submit them to him. So he can move those giftings. He can move Okay, through those giftings, through you, for the purposes of God. For your life, your loved ones, your family, and those whom you have led into your path to minister to. If you're a mother, you're anointed to do that. I know I just listed all these giftings, but if you're a mother, you're anointed to do that. Holy Spirit will move through you to do what needs to be done for your children, for your husband if you're married. Whatever you're doing, Holy Spirit, if you've been led by the, by, by, the, by the Spirit of God, He will lead and guide you and empower you to do it. Hallelujah. I feel that's a word for someone. Okay. Thanks, Holy Spirit. I didn't know I was going to do this part. <laughs> but I, I let Him have His way. I know I need to let Holy Spirit have the way because I can't do it. I can't do it. It's all Him. I have simply yielded to him. I surrendered to him. And we see amazing things happen because we give him the freedom to move. At every home church, at every park church, he moves. He moves. We see the manifestations of the Spirit. We experience the glory cloud of God. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Because we have learnt to yield to Holy Spirit and let him have his way. He wants to have his way. My family of Christ, please hear him. I can feel him. Hear me, please. He wants to move in through you. He wants to have his way. Acknowledge him. Too many are walking around puffed up. Too many want the glory for themselves. Too many want to be seen by man. Too many want to be advancing in their strength, using him, using Holy Spirit. He's not to be used. <laughs> he wants acknowledgement. He gave us those spiritual gifts. I can feel him. He gave us those spiritual gifts. Who are we to try to use them in our own strength? Who are we to try to get the glory for something he's done? 
Please hear what he's saying. Please hear him. We don't use the spiritual gifts. We don't. He moves through us, those spiritual giftings. We need to let him flow. We need to give him the freedom to move. All we do is yield. We yield the spiritual gifts to him. We yield our lives. We yield our tongue. We yield our thoughts. We yield, we yield every area of our lives to the Spirit of God who's with us, our helper. And let him flow. He's like a river. He wants to flow. He wants to flow. To the degree that we can surrender to him, to the degree that he can move in and through us. Father wants to raise up a church that's strong in him, in the power of his might, not in our strength. If we do it in our strength, trying to use giftings that have been given to us, the enemy will give us a counterfeit. The enemy can try to give us false teaching, false, false prophecy, false words of wisdom, false, false. It's all, that'd be divination. It's false. There are so many demonic spirit and powers that really would like to give a mixture in Father's Church. We don't want to do that. We choose not to operate in the flesh, which which the enemy can influence. We choose to flow in the Spirit of God and letting him have the freedom to move in and through us. That Holy Spirit will have his way at every home apart church and every day in my own home. Holy Spirit, have your way. I yield to you. I yield everything to him. I lay it all down. I encourage you, please, every day. Holy Spirit, have your way in my life and through my life. I yield to you all spiritual gifts you have given to me. I yield to you to move in and through me any gifting you want for the Father's purposes. For his will to be done. If you speak that prayer, oh, and in faith, just step forward, you will see him move. And please give him the glory, not you. Give him the glory. Give him the glory. It's not what we can do, it's what he's doing. All we can do is surrender and be a yielded vessel, available. Fearing God. Not man. Serving God, worshipping Him, bowing our knee to Him only. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To worship Him with our lives. With our lives. And let Holy Spirit move. Holy Spirit, for every person who's watching right now. Oh, He's doing it. He's already starting to move. <laughs> you see, I'm sensitive to the Spirit of the Lord. I, I try to stay in communion with him throughout the day. I wake up through the night, I turn to him. I'm dependent on him, I trust him, I rely on him. I know it's not what I can do. I know it's what he can do. And he can do all things. All things are possible. He is the Spirit of God. And greater is he. Greater is the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, every person who's watching, please. I thank you that you just anoint them, empower them, enable them to yield. To yield. To yield to you, Holy Spirit. Yield every area of their lives to you. Yield the spiritual giftings you gave them. And not to try to use them, but by yielding to you that you will move through them, those gifts. And it will flow. It will just happen. It's not something they're trying to do. You will do it, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you for the edification of Father's Church. To encourage His Church. Build, the, build up His Church. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He's doing that. Oh, yes, He is doing that. Oh, yes. Of all of you who just chosen in your heart to yield to him that's the spirit of god on you now that's the spirit of god on you now every day please yield to him he wants to move he wants to move not just drips and drabs 
here and there, every, you know, I, 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 but all the time. Not just troops and drabs, please. Not just troops and drabs in the church. Not just troops and drabs in our own lives all the time. The world is a mission field. The world needs him. And we need him in our daily lives. We need him in ministry. We need him in our family. We need him. It's what he can do. God bless you all. God bless you. Please yield to him. Hear his heart today. Hear him. I know he's, he's anointed you. I know he has. Yes, let me know. Hallelujah. Give him the praise, please, and give him the glory. He's a person. He's a person that's with you. He's the person that is Holy Spirit. God bless you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.